up you guys? It's Judy here with My Life as Geek Guy. Today's video is going to be an easy Halloween makeup tutorial. This one is a black cat makeup tutorial. It's very cute, very sweet. I'm actually really feeling myself right now. This is actually really super easy to do. I just was using reference photos and you know, it's very quick and very easy. It's really a basic makeup look with added black markings on the rest of my face really. So if you wanted actually a nice cat eye glam look, then just do the eye part of this makeup tutorial and apply a red lip that would be really really pretty as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just get into it. I'm not going to start with foundation because cat eye makeup typically uses a lot of black eyeshadow. So it'd be best to do the eye makeup first and then clean up the black fallout afterwards so that you don't mess up any foundation. Get what I'm saying? Okay, let's do this. First off, I'm going to go in with an eye primer. I'm going to be using Master Concealer by Maybelline. This one's a little bit of a lighter color so that black on top of it will stand out a whole lot more. So I'm just gonna apply some of that on the eyelids. And apparently I'm taking it into the eyelashes too, but that's okay. Now I'm going to set all of that with just a clear translucent setting powder. Now I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and going into my Morphe 35K eyeshadow palette, you can just use whatever shadows or shades that you have. Just take a brown shade like this one, just a normal plain brown shade that's a little bit darker than your own skin tone. And I'm going to apply that really messily into my crease as a transition shade. I'm going to take a lot of that shade out this way as well so that I can wing it out and make it look more of the cat eye. I think I had a little bit of black left in my brush from the last time I used it. Oops. But that's okay, I'm going to be applying black in the same spots anyway. Next, I'm going to take a smaller blending brush. This one has a bit of a finer tip. And I'm going to take it into some of this black shadow here and apply that really tightly into my crease. I'm also going to make sure to bring it out and wing it out like the cat eye look as well. They call it a cat eye look for a reason, don't they? So instead of going in with a whole lot of black all at once, I'm going to just take a little bit by a little bit and then just blend it up so that it doesn't blow out too messily. Again, don't be afraid to get messy on the outer part of your eye. This is why we do foundation after the eyes so that you can always clean up the edge here and create a really sharp edge. Taking the same blending brush again that I used to apply the transition, I'm just going to go over that with no extra product and just blend out those edges. Now I'm going to cut my crease with a little bit of concealer. I'm not going to do a really sharp, specific sort of cut crease. I'm just going to mark out my lid space for some lighter shadow that I'm going to apply on top. And the concealer is going to help that shimmery shadow apply a whole lot more brightly and vibrantly. It'll also help it contrast against the black. I'm not going to go too far above my crease because I want the shadow to stay looking a little bit flat and slanty. Now on top of where I applied that concealer, I'm going to go in this shimmery sort of lighter neutral brown shade and I'm going to apply that on top of exactly where I placed that concealer. Now I'm going to go back into that black shadow and redefine the outer edges of my eye here. And I'm kind of wanting my inner eyelids to pop a little bit more, so I'm going to go into that shimmery white shadow in the same palette and apply that just in the inner corners of my eyes. Now I'm going to clean up all that fallout under the eyes and try and create a nice sharp winged eye look here. Now I've just applied my foundation off camera. I'm going to now go in with a fair bit of concealer and really highlight my face just so that the makeup on my eyes stands out a whole lot more. Now I'm just going to set all of that down with a bit of translucent setting powder. I'm going to let that sit and bake on the face for a bit while I do my brows. 
So now I'm going to just do my brows with an eyeshadow that's a little bit too dark for me, just to make them stand out a whole lot more. I'm not going to really overdraw my brows, I'm just going to lightly fill them in where they are already. If you have brows that actually need filling in, then you do that, but I don't need to fill in my brows any more than they already are. I just want to sort of redefine the edges. So I'm going to go in into this darker brown shade here. It's probably a tad a little bit too dark for me and that's what I want. So with that brown shade, I'm just going to take it up till where my arch is and then from the arch, I'm going to take actual black eyeshadow from there. And with the tail of my brows, I'm going to sort of try and bring it out just a little bit more to sort of meet in the middle of where that tip of my eyeline is. That's it. Now I'm going to go with a clear brow gel just to set all of that in place. Now I'm going to brush off all that bake. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a bit of black eyeliner. I'm going to try and keep it as thin as possible on my lash line here, but I'm going to try and wing it out as much as I possibly can as well. Okay, that came out a whole lot thicker than I actually wanted it to, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's just keep going. I'm going to take a little bit more black with the same brush that I did my eyebrows with and just sort of redefine above that cut crease again just to get a little bit more shadow in that crease. Now I'm going to take a white eyeliner in my waterline. This one is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, but you can use any white eyeliner that you have. Now I'm going to take that same brush, it is so versatile, I'm going to take that same brush that I used for my eyebrows and my crease, I'm going to take that same brush back into some of the black and I'm going to apply that really closely to my waterline but try and not disturb the white that I've placed there. So I'm just going to apply it directly below my lash line and just sort of stamp it in place. Okay, now I'm going to take some more black eyeliner. This one is the Maybelline Master Graphic Eyeliner. Unfortunately, this one has been discontinued, but you can use any fine tip felt black eyeliner that you have. And with that, I'm going to create a little bit of a black line here underneath my eye to really create that cat eye look. Now, because of the shape of my eyes, this is probably actually a little bit difficult for me, but if you have the perfect shape eyes, then lucky you, but I'm gonna actually try and attempt to do it. So, yeah. Wish me luck. So basically what I'm going to do is from the black line here where my eyeshadow stops, I'm going to create a little bit of a tear duct and just sort of angle it a little bit further below where my actual tear duct is. Now I'm going to take that angled brush again and take that into that same deep brown shade that I applied in the inner parts of my eyebrows. I'm gonna take some of that and just really lightly blend that under where I applied that black eyeshadow and just sort of stop here in the center of my eye. Now I'm gonna take a smaller, finer tipped sort of under eye blending brush. This is perfect for under the lower lash line. And I'm going to go into that brown shade that I used in the inner parts of my eyebrows. And I'm going to take some of that and blend that out under the lower lash line, but only start here and stop here right in the center of my eye. Now I'm going to take some of that shimmery white shadow and apply that in my inner tear duct just above where I flicked out that little black line there. And because I lost a little bit of that black under there while I was applying that white, I'm just going to redefine it with the same black eyeliner. Now I'm just gonna go in with some black mascara and apply that liberally to my lashes. Now I'm going to apply some fluffy black lashes that I have. These aren't any special ones, they're just some really fluffy black ones that I have. So I'm gonna apply the lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, now I've got these big fluffy lashes on 
They're not anything special. You could just use whatever lashes that you have that you like. But these are the only ones that I have. So this is what I was using today. So now that I have those on, I'm going to go in with a little bit of glitter eyeshadow. I'm just going to be using the Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadow in the shade Diamond Dust. It's a little bit more of a silvery glitter. And I'm just going to take some of that on a really thin eyeliner brush and apply that right on the outer edge here of where I applied the wing and right in the inner corner of my eye as well. Now I'm going to contour my cheekbones. I'm just going to go into my usual, the BYS Contour Trio palette and take some of that matte contour shade and I'm going to really apply that thickly under my cheekbones. I just want to really define my cheeks here. Now I'm going to take a bit of blush. I'm just going to go into the shade Lena. In This is the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. I'm just going to go really lightly into that one and apply that on my cheeks. I'm going to take some of that on my nose as well. I want my contour to stand out a whole lot more, so I just baked a tiny little bit there. I'll brush it off in a minute. Now I'm going to highlight my face using the Milani Strobe Light Highlighter in the shade Afterglow. I'm just going to dust off that bake. And use a bit of setting spray on my face because it's looking a little powdery. I'm just going to let all of that melt in together. But while my cheekbones are still a little bit wet, I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that highlight just to make it stand out a whole lot more. Now with the same black eyeliner, you can use any black eyeliner that you have. I'm going to start drawing in my nose. For this part of the look, it's really helpful to have a reference photo. Just Google cat nose makeup and it'll come up with a whole lot of pictures that you can use to reference while you're drawing in your nose. That's as good as that's gonna get. Now taking a black liquid lipstick, I knew this would come in handy one day. Taking a black liquid lipstick, I'm going to fill in my upper lip. Now I'm just gonna let the lipstick on my upper lip dry before I apply anything on the lower lip. Now I was going to go in with a nude liquid lipstick on my lower lip so that it would dry down matte and that it wouldn't transfer from the black top to the nude bottom but I realized, oh shoot, I shouldn't do that, oh my goodness. But I didn't have a nude liquid lipstick so I'm just going to go in with a nude lip liner. I'm going to take a little bit of contour powder and just shade out some under my lip here just to make my lips look a little bit more full. Now going in with a black eyeliner again. I'm really utilizing this black eyeliner in this look, aren't I? I'm going to go in with a black eyeliner and draw some dots around my lips. Now with a really thin eyeliner, I'm just going to draw in some whiskers. And that's it for the face, I guess. I'm going to 
attempt to make my hair look a little bit cute and uh, I'll be right back. So that's it for this look you guys. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up. If you recreated this look or built upon it to create your own Halloween makeup look, then be sure to tag me on my social media. It's Life as Guy on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I have more Halloween makeup tutorials prepared for you. So if you want to stay updated for them, be sure to hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any of those uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for your time and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Black eyeliner. This one is the Rumi. Rumi.